try not to trip <laughs> while I'm walking. <laughs> and I'm too short for this side. Get up on the step here on this other one. Let's see where we at. There we go. Definitely can't see up there, but we can get different angles. You can see, looks like it's in really good shape. It's a little wrinkle right there at that seam. Let's see. Maybe we can see more over on this side towards the end. A little discoloration there at the end. All right, let's go on the roof. Okay, so we're up on the roof. There's the vent cover aftermarket, like you're asking about on one of them. You got one over there, this one here that does not. So it looks like, in my opinion, probably could use a, a reseal. Looks like they used uh, the seam tape on the front and rear. So this is the front cap we're looking at. Here's around uh, some of the stuff. You can see it's cracked. So definitely uh, could use a reseal. Some of these are just showing a little bit of weathering. So if you'd like us to do that, we can definitely get that done. So here's the rear seam. Again, it's got aftermarket tape over it, so I'm thinking it needs to be resealed. Here's the top of the slide out. Go over to the other one here. side this is the bedroom and the other living room slide just so you can see no surprises make sure you know what you're getting into here here you go all right let's go check out the bathroom alrighty so here we go uh, water heater I'm thinking that's probably just the gas side of it, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, because, or maybe this is electric, I don't know. But here's the, this is the gas right here, outlet. I believe that's just the light switch, and then you got the thermostat as well. Okay, guys, so those other chairs, the folding chairs are behind the recliners. They were hiding back here. So yes, we do have them. Okay, lastly, here's the tires. Good years. I'm gonna go all the way around one of them. They're all the same. Here, I'll make that easier for you to read. <laughs> I'll do some trick photography here. Go all the way around it. Just pause it whenever you get to uh, the tire code. I think it's right there. I'll tell you what year it was manufactured. They look like they're in great shape. Definitely good tread. That's it. They're all the same. Tread depth is really good. Even the spare. Looks like the spare matches these guys. So, spare is underneath there. That's brand spanking new. I'll go over the other side and show you those two. Okay, so now we're on the uh, driver's side. Show you the tread on these. And they look like they're in good shape. I don't see any uh, cracking or anything. No sun damage. So, there's the, co the codes again. Let's see. There's a stamp. So, I know there's a website or there's something online somewhere that can give you the, uh, the uh, translation 
on these codes on these tires to tell you when they're manufactured. So there you go, load range G. Alrighty.